This guide will show you how to connect to an Aruba access point without yapping the Swedish way. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Here we have the access point. This particular model is an Aruba 505. I'm going to make a factory reset first. So meanwhile holding the reset, I plug in the power. You need to hold it for approximately 10 to 15 seconds till it starts flashing like this. Then you can release it. And you will see the access point going solid green for a while. And now it's cycling its power and it should start flashing again. Then we know that it's going on with the factory reset. I will use a FortiGate firewall for some DHCP. I find it kind of easy to connect my laptop and the access point to the same DHCP LAN. So that is what I'm going to do to connect to the access point. And to find out the IP address, we can go into the web GUI of the firewall. You could use another DHCP server like a router or another type of firewall. So the GUI will of course differ depending on what unit you are using. In my case, I will go to DHCP monitor and see that, okay, I got an IP address for my laptop. So now it's time for the access point. I plug in the other Ethernet cable into it. It's still flashing, so it's not ready yet to be able to connect to it. So we will have to wait a bit until it's solid green. It's now solid green after a couple of minutes. So this means it has stopped trying to provision. It's now just waiting in instant AP mode. Here we can see that it actually got an IP address assigned to it. So here is my laptop and this is the access point. Host information Aruba is now in instant AP mode. Next up, we will use Putty to connect to the access point. So we will type in the IP address that got assigned. So 192.168.1.111 It's going to be the standard SSH port of 22. Then just hit open. And the default credentials will be admin together with the serial number of your access point. And this is for most new Aruba access point. So I will copy the serial number on this exact access point, right click to paste it, hit enter. Then it asks us for a new management password, so make up a password and repeat it. And we're in. So here you can do all different kind of troubleshooting commands. For example, you can see the version of the image this access point is running. Here we can see that it's Aruba OS model 505 version 8.6. If you do a question mark, you will see all the different commands that are available quite a lot. And one tip I can give you is, for example, if you have any trouble with the provisioning, you can do show log provision to see where it goes wrong. And here we can see that it's not finding the controller via neither DNS or any DHCP options. That was it. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Take care guys, bye bye.